What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today's actually not gonna be a vlog, but more of an unboxing. I just wanted to show you something I've been waiting on for a while now. My newest mod. All right, there she is behind box number one. Quick, any guesses before I show it? Put them in the comments. What do they sell? What do they sell? Let's go ahead and take a peek and see who guessed correctly. Da -da -da. It's a J pipe. <laughs> so I'm sure some of you already guessed it. It is, in fact, a J pipe. I went with the Turbo X option because it was one of the more affordable brands out there, but you aren't sacrificing any of the quality. So if you look closely, you can see how nice the welds are on the flanges there. There's the one side, the other side. All right, I'm not gonna lie, it feels like it's about 100 degrees out here, so we're gonna bring this inside. Do, 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 do. All right, now that we got the AC rocking, let's shut this door because we got the old laundry going as well. Oh, it's so much nicer in here. So before I get too far ahead of myself, let's just talk about what comes in the box. First, you're gonna have your intermediate pipe. This goes from the catted portion of the J-pipe, which I'll show you here in a minute, all the way up to the mid-pipe of the car. Like I was saying, flanges. Welded on really nicely. They're 12 millimeters thick, so 12 millimeter there. The only thing that's questionable to me, just looking at it, I don't think it's that big of a deal because it's essentially a sleeve, is you can see the ring or kind of the lip or edge right there where the flange meets the pipe, but Obviously, it's welded on very well on this side, so it should be good to go. Now, this is the catted version. I went with the catted version just so I was abiding by all laws, and I also really didn't want my car to be that loud. This, this is already gonna make it extremely loud, which everybody always makes that classic joke, let's wake up the neighbors. Well, this will already wake up the neighbors because my car has the ETS axle back muffler deletes. This, in essence, is going to be adding a whole new level of loudness. You are gonna have your catalytic converter. Look in there, isn't she a beaut? So you've got your cat here. This goes from three and a half inch down to three inch with the rest of the intermediate pipe. So this is the part that's gonna come off the turbo. You're gonna butt up with your four studs there. It'll connect there to the intermediate pipe. Other than that, what are you looking at? This is a high flow cat, so you're gonna get more power. The entire pipe itself is made of stainless steel, so you're not gonna worry about rust. It is fairly light, I'll be honest with you. I haven't set it on the scale, maybe I will go do that. All right guys, do not tell my girlfriend, but we are gonna use her fancy dancy apple scale thing. What do we got, what do we got? 11 pounds. Not so beefy, I'd imagine the J-pipe portion of it oop, is not too hefty itself. It's probably only a couple pounds. Again, you've got real nice welds on there with the flange and the bend. Look at that. Look at that bend right there. Woo! That's what it's gonna sound like. Or something like that, I'd say. You'll get all the bolts that you need to make that connection between these two pipes here. And then finally, you're going to get your gaskets for the J-pipe to intermediate pipe and intermediate pipe to mid-pipe. And there's an also another mounting piece here, which I'm not exactly sure what that is yet, but we'll find out during the install video. If you're running the stock cat back, um, your mid-pipe and your Y-pipe, you'll have to have an adapter for this or really any aftermarket J-pipe, I believe that goes from three inch to two and a half inch. So you'll need that as well. So there you have it. Everything you're gonna need to make your WRX go vroom vroom. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. As you can see, made a nice little mess I'm gonna have to clean up here. So that'll be fun. Stick around for the install video. That is coming up next. I don't know exactly how soon. I'm gonna have to find some time that I can use to set aside um, to get this installed. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. How would you feel if I said I used your uh, scale to weigh the pipe? You're joking, right?